Hello everyone, this is Tatiana and welcome to my channel. If you haven't done so yet, then make sure to subscribe and ring the bell in order not to miss out on any of these videos. Today we've got a very special video about bitten nails and we are going to completely transform them so you definitely don't want to miss this. These bitten nails have a very small nail bed, problematic cuticles, and major hangnails. The skin is taller than the cuticle, it's really thin, and it looks almost as if it were polished. We will have to definitely be careful around this area. Biting your nails is a terrible habit. My goal today is to make these nails so beautiful that it would simply be a crime to even think about biting them. First off, we need to correct the cuticle area. Very carefully in taking my time, I'm moving the cuticle back just a little bit with my cuticle pusher. The cuticle is really active and spread all throughout the nail. This is just a natural reaction that happens uh, when the nail is defending itself, of course, in this case from being bitten. Further, I'm taking my nail bit, um, I'm just using a cone bit with extra soft abrasion. This cleans up the cuticle really nicely and additionally moves the cuticle back uh, a little bit. Even though the bit's abrasion is soft, it could harm the nail plate, so be careful and hold your nail drill parallel to the nail. And now, using just a small pair of scissors, I'm cleaning up the cuticles. Now with my flame bit, ever so carefully, will I go over the cuticle area once again. Almost all of it has been cleaned up, however I have noticed uh, some white streaks, which is the dead cuticle, so I'll also be cleaning that up.
Further, I'm brushing over with my ball bit. I'm only moving around the cuticle, avoiding that thin, shiny area of skin. After having cleaned up with the nail bed, I'll be proceeding to our nail file, predominantly closer to the free edge. Now I've got some really important information for you guys. Together with the company Global Fashion, are they offering a 10% discount on all items with the code BOOGRI. And I'll leave all the details for that in the description box below. So as some of you may have already guessed, I'll be completing today's manicure with Global Fashions products. I'm dehydrating the nail plate with this liquid. Not only does it dehydrate the nails, but it also disinfects the skin. Uh, it actually smells pretty good. Further, I'm applying our primer and then an ultra bond. Usually I use only one of these products, but with these nails, we really need to play it safe. After our bond, I'm applying a base coat and then letting that dry underneath the lamp. In the meantime, I'm preparing the poly gel and it's liquid. This poly gel from Global Fashion is actually oil-based, uh, opposed to the typical alcohol-based ones. I'm also going to need to use a brush because today we're doing nail tips. So now I'm just going to apply a tad bit of our gel to our nail tips and then simply press that down to the nail, making sure it's nice and snug. I'm also tightly holding the nail tip by the cuticle uh, down with my finger and then letting that dry under the lamp. After about 30 seconds of drying, can you then remove the tip? When taking off that tip, just make sure that you are carefully holding both sides and you'll end up with a beautiful nail. Liquid-based poly gel is amazing and using this kind of poly gel with nail tips is simply flawless. It's also super easy to work with, even with problematic nails such as these. Considering my client's nail beds are pretty short, we didn't want to create very long extensions in order not to cause any injuries to the nail bed. And she still needs to get used to having uh, longer nails. Even though quite a bit of the material leaked down, the tip still looks like it's sticking up. So with my nail file, I'm just going to file down that material.
As I mentioned, the material did leak down a bit, so now with my nail bit, will I just file that thickness down? Just to make sure that the cuticle area is still nice and clean, I'll just go over the border of the nail and material with my flame bit. If there is any excess material there, you will need to clean it up, otherwise you'll have lifting. I'm also using this nail bit and cleaning up underneath. My prior nail bit didn't go quite deep enough, so using this thinner bit works out just perfect. Despite how small and tiny you may think these nails look, we have successfully doubled their length. So now our nails are ready for their coating. Today we are doing an ombre design in three colors and finishing off with a little bit of art. We'll be doing all of this in just two layers with intermediate drying. We decided to coat our nails in a matte finish. This finish isn't too liquid and goes on super smoothly. Over our dried top coat, I'm drawing a geometric design in a black gel paint. Here is our final result. My client could hardly believe that these were her nails. We absolutely loved the way they turned out. I am so excited to hear about what you all think of this incredible transformation, so let me know down in the comment section below. And of course, if you liked this video, then please give it a big thumbs up, and I will see you in my next video.